Thank you for clicking my video. This is Love You More 555. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. If you are a returning subscriber, hey you. If you are new here, hey there. Okay. This is going to be for my aquas. Okay. Aquarius, any placement, but especially my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and I'm going to throw in North Node. Okay. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, hey, my channel name is Love You More because I'm only here to help you to why do what rather <laughs> love you more right um i am an aquarius how you doing i'm aquarius stallion actually so i have a lot of aquarius in my chart okay um actually when you're a stallion sign you have that one particular sign in three or more of your planets if i'm not mistaken right let's clear the energy card and our protection we'll get right into the card it's going to be a little long message so if you got patience come on sit through i'm pretty sure you're going to find something in here that you know piques your curiosity okay or you may get some confirmation but be patient all right I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is, so shall it be. I wish the same to those who come across my channel with love and light in your heart. Those with malignant energy, shoot fly, shoot fly, don't bother me. Take that shit somewhere else, and I truly do mean it. And that's on my singing bowl, ladies and gents. All right. Let's push you over there. All right, so Aquarius, how y'all doing? Okay, it's gonna again, it's gonna be for Aquarius any place, and we're gonna start out with the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. And I am going to read from the book, so I'm only gonna get three of these, and we're gonna read the messages from the book. Okay. Messages for Aquarius. Ooh. Messages for Aquarius. Some big old cards. Messages for Aquarius. I got big hands too though, but still they big. Messages for Aquarius. Can I get three messages for Aquarius? Please and thank you, Divine Universal Energies. Can I get three messages for Aquarius? Please and thank you. We have one. We have two. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's too many. One more, please. Okay. Thank you, Red, for being okay. Bottom of the deck, stars. You can manifest your every wish. So this is giving me literally your energy, the star card, right? It's like you've done so much work on yourself. I don't even think you realize, but it's like anything that you want right now, the energy, the vibration that you see, you're vibrating in the cosmos. You can see this book. I love this picture, by the way. It's very symbolic. There's a lot of books around these two women, right? I feel like this, uh, this represents the dark and the light aspect of yourself. Roll with me now. Let me just pin. I want you to see this. You see all those books around you. Air signs are very knowledgeable. You could be someone that has a lot of wisdom. You could be an old spirit, an old soul. You are vibrating high right now. You're connected to the cosmos. That's why the opening of this room is like to the sky. You can see the sky, the stars, okay? It's like you've ascended, right? These leaves around you, these plants symbolize, you know, growth. Uh, fertility abundance green is uh, earth okay so you could be very grounded right now also your health could be really good right now okay so it's like you're in the energy and alignment to manifest your deepest desires okay and that's what the universe wants you to do it's a beautiful card too by the way I've never looked at that like that but when I'm reading for us I'm just like guess how I'm seeing that it's like all them books you probably read all these books again this here represents the dark and the light aspect of yourself that's about to merge with each other so you're going to be in complete balance and again you vibrate very high you're like in the cosmos okay you could be someone who travel astro travels a lot while you sleep ready you know it's not a lot of people who do this unless you're like really tuned in with it you don't know what you do when you go to sleep you probably travel fight you could be a warrior you're not going to remember none of this a lot of time when you wake up Okay, 
five is on here there's some type of change happening with you and i feel like it's a positive change so get ready for that good energy that's going to be coming towards you now your first card that came out is morning number 40 40 could be significant four it can be significant okay morning the real awaits you <laughs> You know, it's like you're going through this type of, this phase where you're like reinventing yourself, okay? It's time for you to come on out, okay? It's time for you to come on out. Number 40, let's find it in the book. Quarente. Mm -hmm. Friend, what have you been? Mm -hmm. It say, you've been alive, sure. You've been waking up doing what you need to do to get through your day. Going back to sleep, repeat. Have you been living, though? Ooh -wee. Have you been aqua? This is your message to tell you to start living your damn life. Ain't no more keeping yourself hidden anymore, okay? It's time for you to come on up out of that shell. It says... Hold on. It's been up to... Wait, I'm wrong page. I'm, I'm reading this. I'm like, hold on, no. So you need to get to the go back to sleep. Okay, repeat. Going through this truly. Have you truly been living though? Truly living. It say, I think you need to hear this now more than ever. Your life is incredibly precious. Out there, the world awaits you. Now is the time to make good moments and learn to treasure them as they come. So it's time to make new memories. It's time to have fun. It's time to put yourself back out there. And you know why it's time to have fun? Because you could be a about to receive some type of abundance there's some type of harvest coming in some type of cornucopia look how she's sitting on her throne relax her leg crossed she's chilling right but that's on this card we can look at here yeah she got an apple by her mouth she look very comfortable too her shoes even look comfortable shoe okay it says slow down and celebrate yourself it's time for you to give to yourself you know a lot of queers are very selfless people okay we will give and give and give and give and give because our nature is ingrained in us. It's an innate part of us. It's ingrained to be of service. Okay? We love to help people. We love to take care of others. You know, and a lot of time at our own expense. This is telling you to take care of you. To love on you. 29 can be significant. 92 can be significant. Okay? 11 can be significant. <laughs> So let me get this 29. Yeah, it's time for you to love on yourself. Do what makes you happy, okay? You know, the world gonna be here when you done, okay? Slow down and celebrate yourself. Sometimes life gets a little too hectic and the inevitable happens. We forget to take a breather and celebrate what deserves celebration. Make sure you do that from now on. If we never stop to fully recognize the good we have, then the bad stuff can knock us down much harder than it would have otherwise. So it's like this is showing that no matter what you've been through, you keep getting up. And the universe wants you to continue to get up, okay? Because you're not the type of person that's supposed to stay down, okay? Life may get hectic, life may get tough, but don't forget to love you, celebrate you, do things that make you happy, do things that make you feel good on your soul, okay? Instead of always trying to do for others. And also, don't let nobody knock you down or affect your energy or, for that matter, have that much power over you and your emotions too that can affect your mood, right? There's a need for you to set boundaries when it comes to your emotion. And there's a need for you to protect your energy. You know, because people who have good hearts, they have a tendency of attracting broken, toxic people. And it's unintentional. A lot of those people that you attract, they are put on your path for you to help them. But a lot of people don't like to take that help. So what you supposed to do? You know what? Keep it pushing. Okay? You can't. You did your job. You was of service. You 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 dropped the knowledge. You showed them whatever you needed to. It was up to them to take it and utilize it to change. And a lot of people don't want to change. So hey, you gotta keep on and move to move on to your next assignment. Last but not least, we have red. Forgive. There's also a uh, energy here where for ten a completion. Yeah, it's time to forgive. It's time to completely forgive people and let things go. This bathtub. Her sitting in this 
bathtub with these pears. They look like pears, apples, whatever, this fruit. There's a need for some of y'all possibly to take a spiritual bath. Or there's a need for you to do like a fruit detox or like a herbal detox or something like that. Not only to cleanse your body, but to cleanse your spirit. Okay, I feel like the water represents you being in this tub. It's like water is a conduit. Water, purified water heals. There's a need for you to really like forgive people and release things that maybe even unbeknownst to you is holding you back you see as you release it's like the bathtub you're in the water then the window is open to release whatever's out to the air so for the air to take it so there could be a need right now for you to work in your element which is air and maybe work with water that could be showering. I feel more or less bathing or even going to a body of water. There's a need for some type of purification here. Okay. It's going to help release the emotional baggage that's possibly some of y'all have been carrying. This is number 10. So let's read number 10. All right. It says, Red, forgive. You've been holding a grudge against somebody in your life. Maybe it's a loved one. Or maybe it's yourself. This isn't a card telling you that you must learn to practice forgiveness. No, forgive them on your own terms if and when you feel ready to do so. This is simply a nudge for you to consider whether that is time. Excuse me, let me read that again. It says this is simply a nudge for you to consider whether that the time is the present don't let forgiveness feel like an obligation, but like a shiny red hope that gets you through your sleepless late nights. So I read that part wrong again. But anyway, this is talking about needing to forgive, but this card says specifically at your own pace. Yeah, it could be time. It's like I said, consider if this the right time or not. Some of y'all, it could be the right time for you to forgive some uh, someone. Others of y'all, you may not be quite ready yet, but God's telling you to work on getting ready to release these burdens, release this pain, release whatever this is you keep holding on to. Because I guarantee it's a part of whatever blockages you may have existing right now, even if, you know, you don't. That's even better. I said that wrong too, but you know, if you don't, that's even better. Damn it. What's going on with my damn speech? I don't know. Get away from here. <laughs> but yeah, it is time for you to forgive people. Some of y'all, you know, it's okay for you to wait. It's, it's okay for you to take this at your own space. Nobody can't make you forgive because nobody didn't endure whatever you did with whoever you did. Everybody forgive people at different paces, you know. So some of y'all, you could be ready to forgive people and let some go. Some of y'all, it may take you a little more time, but God say, hey, you know, don't take too much time. It's okay to take time, but still don't take too much time. You know, you need to get this done so you can go ahead and move forward on your path. All right. Now, we're going to use the Tarot of the Divine. Each one of these cards has some type of folklore or, you know, uh, so like story to it or whatever the case may be. It actually is inspired by deities, folklore, and fairy tales from around the world, okay? So each card I get, I'm going to read out of the book. I'm only going to get four of these. I don't want to keep y'all too long, okay? So we're going to do a little shuffle. I'm going to tell you the traditional meaning of the card, and then we're going to read the story associated with the tarot card that comes out. So let's see what do the universe want to tell you out of this beautiful tarot deck. The imagery on here is very beautiful. They like kind of hard plastic. They got like a stucco uh, covering to it. It's really, it's a really nice deck. I finally got it from Amazon. They kept suggesting it every time, you know, I go in there because I have a Prime account. Probably a lot of people do, but they kept suggesting. So one day I decided to look at it and look at the reviews. And when I got it, I wasn't disappointed. I was like, oh, these is beautiful, but they're going to last. Okay, let's cut. I'm going to do a three-way cut. We have the six of wands. You're about to experience some type of victory in your life. And this is going to be something public. Well, other people can see it, okay? It's, it's, this is attached to that six of wands, attached to this morning card. The world awaits you. It's time for you to show the world a real you. It's time for you to come up out of your shell, get up out of your box, okay? If you've been in hermit mode, it's time for you to get outside, Okay, now I gave the cards a little shuffle. Let's go. 
What do you want to tell Aquarius? Aquarius, ooh, three of wands. Climbing the ladder of success. Three of wands and traditional tarot means expansion, growth, okay, foresight, uh, travel. Um, I did say acceleration, right? A movement, in, like a fast moving past and the energy is attached to fire. So there is definitely some type of expansion happening. Okay. I told you right now too, this ladder too also represents someone climbing up the ladder. This, this, this is what I was talking about when I was saying that your energy is high. It's like you're vibrating in the cosmos right now. Your vibration is really, 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 really high right now. Okay. We have the King of Cups. Okay. The King of Cups is someone who is intuitive, protective, caring, loving, nurturing, secure, um, a partner, a, a definitely a perfect love partner when they're in a higher vibration, okay? We also have the Knight of Cups that popped over. Knight of Cups is, now it could be good or bad. Knight of Cups can be definitely like a friendship, a new romantic partner. This is a romantic contract. This is a date, okay? This is a proposition, a love proposition at that, okay? So we're going to read the Knight of Cups. And then last but not least, you have the Six of Coins, okay? Six of Coins in a traditional deck is, you know, reciprocity, equal, equal give and take, equal partnerships, equal investments, um, a balancing of energies, masculine and feminine, public recognition, okay? So that's what traditionally it means. And the overall energy for this <laughs> is the sun. You see who that is? You see who that is? That's Ra on that card, okay? The sun, all right? We're going to read that. That's the overall energy. So let's read these cards, okay, Aqua? So the first thing we're going to look at is the overall energy. We're going to look at the sun, all right? Number 19. Where the major is at? There we go. You heard me. You, you know it. The sun god Ra, okay? So let me grab this for you. Ra is an Egyptian deity. It said the sun is success, birth, confidence after passing through difficult times. Egyptian sun god Ra represents everything is illuminated with optimism and enthusiasm for the path ahead. Satisfaction, accomplishment, joy, luck, vitality. That's the overall energy for your message today. The sun. You're about to have a lot of satisfaction in your life. You're about to accomplish something really big. You're about to have a lot of joy. Your luck has changed. And you're going to be very youthful. You're going to have a lot of, like, a restoring of your energy, okay? okay we're going to keep that sun right there, okay? Up under the sun, we have the seven of wands. That's beautiful. With the four of wands. <laughs> Look at that. It's so beautiful. And then they go to King of Swords. They go your energy, okay? And then we have the lovers. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, and then a tower. Oh, there's a there's a new partnership coming in. Either you in one or you you know you got one coming in. We'll see when we get to your love messages. Now the first card out is the three of wands. Let's find the wands and girl, take it off and be. I'm uploading the message, and that song was in. It's been stuck in my head, y'all. Six, seven. What the hell is the ones? You just want to Lord, I'm like, I couldn't find the ones, y'all. They got ones in the last. Normally, you know, pentacles be last a lot. And most tarot decks when you get them in the books. Let me see. Three of Wands. Now let's go. Three of Wands, the Enchanted Pig, okay? It says Romania, Romanian fairy tale. The Three of Wands represents hard work and travel. The princess takes a long journey to rescue her prince, making sacrifices and surviving trials along the way. If she stays motivated, her efforts will be rewarded. Some of y'all, you've sacrificed a lot in the relationship for your partner. I'm talking to a woman, okay? 
what you've been sacrificing in this relationship, either it's going to be rewarded with something outside or this person's going to start to give back. The Six of Pentacles is the last card. This person's going to start to reciprocate your same energy back to you. They're going to give exactly what you've been putting in, if not more. They may even shock you for some of y'all, okay? Others of y'all, there could be an energy where you could be leaving the situation because you're tired of investing in it, okay? You've been trying to show somebody that you care about them, you want them, but you know, it's like they ain't been getting the message or, you know, they just so arrogant or maybe blinded or blocked that they can't see that you love them. There's a need for you to stop trying. That's why they call it up and say, put yourself first. It says self-motivation, freedom, reward, and romance. So it is romance around you. It definitely could be someone who you've been trying to make things work with. They may shock you. Okay. They definitely may shock you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right now, Aqua. Then we have the... King of Cups, where you at? I saw Cups. I saw Cups. I could, there we go. We have the Boy and the Dragon, Pearl. China, Chinese legend. The King of Cups was once a little boy, but has matured into a powerful dragon. Now, this here, this could be y'all. Like, remember when I said somebody may surprise you? The Knight of Cups probably should have been before the King of Cups, but we're going to read it the way it came out. This could be someone who has emotionally, and mentally, spiritually have ascended, okay? This person could have changed from an immature person to a, a grown man. Somebody may be in an energy where they're ready to give equally to someone. They actually want an equal partnership, okay? Whether this is in love or like uh, work or whatever the case may be, whoever this is, they want to give back to you exactly what you're putting. If this is a job and you've been working your ass off and your boss wasn't, you know, it seemed like they wasn't recognizing that you was an asset to this company. They're going to blow your mind by how they're going to make you feel. Won't it? Welcome. You know, it's like they're going to do something for you to show you that I appreciate all the time, energy and hard work you didn't put into my company. If this is a relationship, somebody here could be about to show you that, hey, you know, I, I do really love you and I have grown up and I'm ready for what you're ready for. And they may surprise you. OK, it says uh, he is kind, but fiercely protective of those he loves. This person may become very protective of you as well because he's he or maybe she has awoken to this connection. OK. It said he is connected to the deep, dark waters of the subconscious. He possesses great patience and wisdom. So whoever this person is, they it's a deep, dark water. This person has of the subconscious. Somebody has access their subconscious and they're dealing with a lot of emotions, maybe emotions that they never dealt with before until they met you. You could be really helping somebody heal. And they've become more patient and more wise because of you. And they want to show their appreciation. It says devotion, loyalty, faithfulness, wisdom, generosity. Somebody definitely may be about to shock you, Aquarius. I mean, shock the shit out of you. Uh, it's like they, they done done a 360. Rather this be in work or even a relationship of some of y'all, even family. Like, seriously, somebody's really about to shock you with how they're about to show up. Now we have the Knight of Cups next. It says Halibu the Hunter, Mongolia, Mongolian legend. The Knight of Cups is a messenger. Halibu is a kind and gentle, excuse me, is kind and gentle while also willing to take a stand for what he believe in. So this person's about to take a stand for you, okay? Because maybe before they didn't believe in you as an employee, they didn't believe in you as a family member, a sibling, a cousin, a child, whatever. They could be a partner. They didn't believe in your relationship. They didn't believe in you. They probably was even scared of the relationship because you made this person go deep within and access something subconsciously that they haven't been able to deal with before they got with you, Okay. Or maybe when you started working there. Or maybe this family member finally coming around. Have it fit in your life, okay? It says, where it go? Take for granted. Willing to take a stand for what he believes in. Halibu provides for his village. And after befriending a dragon, he willingly sacrifices himself to save everyone he loves. Now, this, that's why I said I should have read the Knight of, Knight of Cups before the King of Cups. This person is about to make a huge sacrifice or they've made a huge sacrifice in order to step into this King of Cups energy. If this is a boss, they maybe they're about to fire somebody that they could have been listening to over you 
okay? Or somebody who was really out for you, didn't want you at this company. If this is a romantic partner, they're about to make some type of huge sacrifice to give to this relationship, okay? It is going to be a huge sacrifice because it's a sacrifice to itself. So they about to take, they about to let go of something or, you know, block somebody or do something. Whatever they're about to do is going to be huge and it's going to cause some type of very important change in this person's life and in yours for the positive, may I add, okay? It says, um, you know, it says he's willingly sacrificed himself to save everyone he loves. This person could be about to leave somebody that they kept sacrificing themselves for as well. And if this is a boss, they could have been kept taking this person's side. This person could have kept running to the office on you. Like, whatever this is, wait, this is a family member. They could have been letting somebody persuade them against you when, you know, they know they want to be cool with you or they know you're a cool person. Like, something's about to change in a particular relationship in your life. And it's a very important change. It's going to bring positive Positivity into said relationship, whether this work, family, or love. We have chivalry, affection, invitations, taking action, meaningful gifts. This person is about to take action. They could be about to give you a gift. Whatever this gift is, they're about to get you. They have a they they not nah, they have they putting a lot of thought into this. Okay. This is somebody who want to show you some type of affection. If this is your boss, they want to give you something to let you know they appreciate you. It could be like some extra money on your next paycheck. It's a family member. They could want to get you something to let you know, like, man, bro, or sis, I want to be cool. Like, I want things to be all right with us. It's like somebody finna give you something. And if this is a romantic relationship, this is somebody who's finna take their time to put a lot of effort and energy into a particular thing that they feel like that's going to make you very happy. They putting a lot of thought and intention into this gift. It's going to be meaningful, okay? Whatever this is, it may make you cry. It may make you happy with the sun here. Whatever it is, it's going to be something really good, okay? Mm, okay. And then we have the six of pentacles. Where you at? I saw you. There we go. The woman who was kind to insects. You see what I mean? If you're a woman, this somebody's realizing. I, I haven't even read the story yet, but I'm just off of these words right here. Somebody realized that you're kind. You could be a very kind-hearted person, Aquarius. This person may see you give to animals. This person may have saw you do things, and it's just like, wow. You know, this person, maybe they thought for a second that you wasn't who you like show up to be i ain't gonna say pretend to be who you show up to be maybe this person didn't want to believe that maybe because they've never had that okay and even though maybe this family member always know you was a good person it's like they allowed another person to persuade them against you if this is a boss this is someone also know with the sister pentacles that you're hard working you may be the type of person to stay at work late uh they call you on your off day you might go in yes yeah, money incentive but it's because you love your job like there is someone here uh, in work family or love and it could be all above for some of y'all you're gonna be you know people are gonna start really recognizing your energy people are gonna recognize that you give a lot you add a lot to their life you give a lot to the situations that you you know and intertwine yourself in for uh you know per se like there's gonna be people in your life that's gonna realize how valuable you are with this six of pentacles you understand what i'm saying it's gonna bring about some changes Okay, this is Alaska. It's an Inuit fable. Okay, the six of coins represent kindness and generosity to those less fortunate. You're somebody also who gives selfless. That is really our energy. People try to get us twisted and say such negative things about us, but they all wrong. Okay, we're a mixture of air and water. Come on now. Come on now. The old woman from this Inuit take, take, understand. Hold on. Let me read that again. The old woman from this end of it tale, well, I said keep saying take, understands the need to put positivity into the world in order to receive it back. So you could be someone who's always positive, no matter what. You always try to see the bright side of things, while other people might be probably look at things, you know, very negatively or look at, looking at the glass always empty when you always looking at it half full, Okay. It say the pay it for mythology of karma. So you give a lot and you give a lot selflessly. It's like people around you really are going to be seeing, you know, as, as October continue to move on through and moving on to the last quarter of this year, going into next year, you're going to have people who's going to really recognize how valuable you are to them, what you add to their life. Okay. 
Seriously, okay? It's a generosity, charity, kindness, value, and reward. That key word right there, value. And because of your value, because of your integrity, because of your selflessness, your big heart, you're going to start receiving the same generosity, charity, love, kindness, and rewards, okay, for the said kindness. And you don't do anything for a reward, but you're about to be rewarded with something. It's going to be something that you're going to value, too, as well. I feel like because you're a valuable person, right? That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. This is this is just so beautiful. Here you go, that the sun is your overall energy. That is beautiful, all right? That is that's awesome. And like I said, if other that seven of wands, you're protected very much so. Protected from anything at this time, okay? Now, what do we want to go into? What do I want? What else I want to get for Aqua? Let's see. Let's see some of the emotions of people who, because, you know, you got some people who, who done missed out on you, okay? You got some people who done missed out on you. Give me some cards, okay? We have memories. There's a lot of people that's going to be in their head about you or people who are thinking about you right now. More than likely past people, okay? Left you hanging, no closure, no contact, left on red. This could have been people who turned their back on you. Now they want you back. They miss you. They thinking about you, okay? Or they will be very soon. We have heartbreak. <laughs> Some of these people are heartbroken. This could be exes. This could be families. could be friends, old bosses, co-workers, childhood friends, whoever. There's people who's going to be heartbroken about you. I feel like this left um, left you hanging, no closure, no contact left on red. I feel like this is going to be your energy moving forward. This person hanging upside down just like a hangman. You've been at a, a, a pause. You've been not moving right You know, not moving lately. you probably been sitting still. you probably been in hermit mode. And this is all you've been doing. Where them books at? Where that card at? Right here. The overall energy from this deck was the star. Your energy, right? You know what I'm saying? You've been sitting, you see all them books? You've been sitting at home, possibly learning lessons, educating yourself, okay? Yeah, you've been really like pouring into yourself, all right? And there's people who's heartbroken about this, or will be. I'm telling you, you're in people's head, mind, and heart. A bunch of shady people. A bunch of, a bunch of shady people that you can't trust. Okay, we have secluded, separation, reflecting, soul searching. Then I tell you, this is what she was doing. This is exactly what she was doing. Mm. Moving on, letting go, loving you. Yes, you're done. <laughs> you're absolutely done. And look, you're gonna have a lot of people who missed out on you, and they're gonna be fucked up because they missed out on you. Yeah, they is. They truly is. What else? Thank you, divine ancestors. The in reverse. If you're someone, I think I was saying in the beginning of the reading that, you know, everybody has a past. I think I said that. If not, that was my last reading I'm uploading. Okay, y'all, yeah, I've been recording a lot more lately. But, um, yes, it's like if you, someone who was rough or rugged or got in trouble and stuff or maybe high head, whatever it was when you was younger, it's like you're not this way anymore. This also could have people in their head, Okay. We have karmic ties. It's like you didn't cut ties with a lot of people, or you will be. As we progress into October, moving forward, you definitely could have, you know, uh, excuse me, definitely will be cutting people off. We have police station. Some of these people, you may have to call the police on their ass and say, I love you. You also could be getting some type of, I told you, if you're in a relationship, as we move through the last quarter of year, as August, I said August, ooh, somebody could be one, it could be Leo, Virgo, okay, anyway, I was trying to say October, okay, as we progress during the rest of October, moving forward the last quarter of the year, November, December, somebody here is going to propose, there's somebody who's going to propose to you, they're going to want to get married, okay, they not, this person has woken up to this, uh, it's a rejected here, you're going to be, what did I just say? You're going to be rejecting a lot of people, okay? Or well, you have rejected a lot of people. But there's someone in your energy that you're dealing with, romantic, or someone be, will be coming in in the next couple of weeks for this year close out, okay? Whoever it is, you know, you could be... Uh, Aquarius is a masculine polarity, so this could be a divine feminine coming towards you, or you may be representing, representing this divine feminine card. Either way, there's a divine feminine here, Okay? That's why all this stuff is happening. <laughs> You're going to have people's going to be in their head coping. Okay? Faith, healing, meditation, praying, sex addiction, pregnancy, okay? Fake news, 
phony trickster illusion fairy tale. This could have been some of the things that you went through. Or some of the things somebody that you cutting off is going to go through. Okay? Or they going through. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Let me see. That's love messages. What else I want to get? I want some more cards. Angel numbers. What else? What else? What? Oh, first of all, let me get some signs before I proceed with the rest of the messages. Aquarius. I always get seven. We have your planet. We have Aquarius Capricorn. Cancer. Scorpio. This could be the signs that you're dealing with. Or if you're not in a relationship, this could be the sign coming towards you. Aries, Emperor. Okay. Scorpio again. Somebody definitely could be going dealing with a Scorpio or there's some type of transformative energy around. Venus, true love, Libra Taurus, and Capricorn. All right. That's the signs you could be dealing with. Bottom of the deck, Scorpio again with Mars. All right. Where am I? Right here. I'm like, where the hell did it go? All right. Um, what other cards I want to get before I get into the love messages? Mm, right here. Let's see. We're going to use this Lenormand deck. Okay. Give me some more messages from my Aquas. Please and thank you, Divine Ancestors. Please and thank you. What do Aquarius need to hear at this time? Thank you. Clover. Luck, gambling, opportunity, chance, hope, small, happiness. Two pairs. Two is all about pairs. Two clover, good luck. Good luck in a relationship, soulmate coming in. Also, your whole luck in general is about to change, okay? I told you that. We have Sith. Sith. That's how you say that. Number 10, that's a completion. Danger, accident, warning, sudden harvest, surgery. Somebody here, hey, be careful. Be careful you. You, you Aquarius. Be careful dealing with knives, cutting the food, preparing stuff. Be careful with knives at this time. Be careful with sharp arts. Just be careful around machinery. Just be careful. Also, somebody here. Somebody here may be going through some type of terrible ending. Who was against you? Okay. Somebody here may be going through something. That's also a completion. There you go. Number 16, the star. All right. You're 17 in the tradition that this is coming at 16, which equates to a seven. A seven. I love seven. Um, hopes, dream, inspiration, wish, achievement, progress to goals. You're gonna have a lot of progress in the next couple of weeks. Okay. There's something completely ending, something, okay, that was dangerous, that was unhealthy for you, okay? There's also someone who's been trying to, it's an Ace of Wands happening too, number one, the right? It's giving me the Ace of Wands with that, um, <clears throat> that horse, also Knight of Wands. So it could be like an Ace of Wands, Knight of Wands, energy, passion, speed, activity, news, messages, I feel like this connected to the love situation, or even work, or even family, but more or less work or love. Especially love first. 17. Some of y'all be careful. They go star card again. Star energy. Be careful with uh, procreating. If you don't want children, be careful. Okay? Change movement. New beginnings. Transition. Flexibility. Transformation. I told us a lot of transformative energy around you. Let's get a couple more. Mm -hmm. Cross. You're at a crossroad. You're going through some type of rite of passage, okay? Duty, burden, big problem, grief, religious, fate. Okay, some faded things are about to take place in your life, but it's because you can cross this bridge, okay? It's because you can transition. It's because you can move forward, okay? Also, somebody could have been going to the graveyard on you, okay? That was a big problem. They shouldn't have did that, all right? Trying to affect your luck, and you're still going to have a lot of luck, actually. Better luck than it was before them. I love it. They got a fucking sun again uh, right now, okay? But it came out with this snake. There's going to be a snake in your mist that's going to be illuminated over the next couple of weeks, okay? 7, July. This could be a July Cancer or Leo that's going to be revealed, okay? 
31 of sun, okay? Success, victory, happiness, truth, warmth, positive outcome. So overall, you got a positive outcome. The sun was overall energy. There's a positive outcome for your life at this time, okay? Then we have snake here. Like I said, deception, cheating, intelligence, desire, seduction, untrustworthiness. You, something's going to be revealed about possibly a snake. This snake could be a July Leo or a Cancer, man or a woman, okay? It's also can be somebody like a Libra or a Virgo, maybe even a Pisces, maybe a Aries, a Taurus, okay? Again, with Libra, maybe Scorpio, okay? What else? We got January here, so it could be Aquarius or Capricorn. We got two as well, so that's February. Definitely Aquarius or your energy or um, a Capricorn. Maybe even, again, Pisces, like I said. Give me two more. So that's going to be a snake that's going to be revealed. You got some type of hidden enemy, okay, in your midst. And they're going to be revealed. Six clouds. Because somebody always got their fucking head in the clouds. It's that confusion, negativity, unclarity. This is like aloof energy. Doubt, worry, uncertainty. Okay? Whoever this snake is, they could be worried. They could be worried about whatever this is about to be revealed about them. Somebody's going to be shown to you. Some type of enemy. It could be one of these signs. We have cancer out here, uh, by the way, okay? We have tree. Health, growth, spiritual vitality, karma from the past. So you're about to get some type of good karma for something that happened to you in the past. Could be a past life or definitely something about the past is about to be rectified. You're about to get some type of good karma from it, okay? 23, mouth, stress, nerves, depletion, theft, disease, flaw. This could be 23 breaks down to a 5. There's a change happening. It's a 5 as well. 10 to a completion. Some Something that happened to you in the past, some type of stress, theft, Maybe sickness, depletion of some kind of your financial energy, whatever it was, you're about to get re, re -encomp hmm. I said re encompass. No. Get away from my damn throat chakra. I, you're about to get compensated for this. And it's going to happen probably by way of some type of little snitch, this mouth. Somebody may be telling something. Somebody could have information about something that happened to you in the past. They're going to tell the authorities or reveal who they need. So, yeah, look, they go key. Somebody's about to bring forth some type of information. It's going to be the key to unlocking something. Either somebody stole something from you in the past. You could have experienced a robbery. Somebody could have made you sick. Somebody could have depleted, you know, your energy, your resources. Something happened to you, whatever it is. Is you're about to get you're about to get a favor for it okay it's a unlocking answers destiny openness solutions fulfillment whatever this information coming in they go 33 master teacher number whoever this is they the key to unlocking something that happened to you in the past and they about to reveal this information dog this is someone who Mm, who may want to be cool with you this person may feel like they owe you this this person may want to be on a good like i said somebody want to make amends with you this could be somebody who wants to get into your good graces the thing is if they tell us something they knew it was going on either they was a part of it they knew it they still in the wrong okay but this is someone now who wants to be loyal 18 break down to a 9 18 could be significant as well friendship allies loyalty trustworthy support and obedience this is someone again who feel like they owe this to you Cause they feel like you're a trustworthy friend or you're a trustworthy person, okay? And they feel like you deserve this um, this victory, okay? Ring, promise, commitment, partnership, deal, contract, cycle. I told you, somebody's going to be proposing to you soon. Or if somebody's coming into your life, even though we got a little bit of time left in this year, it doesn't matter. I don't care. It's going to happen so fast, your head going to spin. You could have a new romantic cycle starting. A new person could be coming into your life. It could be one of these signs. And things are going to take off with this person so fast. Y'all going to wind up getting engaged and possibly even married really soon. Between here, now the last quarter of this year, and between the spring of next year. Like, that could be something very significant here. But there's you're about to get some type of justice from the past for something that somebody did to you. Definitely, you are. You're about to get justice. Now, let's look into specifically your love life, okay? 
Let's see what's going on with your love life. What you can expect in your love life. Even though your love life talking up here already. <clears throat> That's one of the highlights. It says getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So your bond with somebody is about to deepen. Or you're going to have somebody that's come in. The bond between you and this person is going to be really deep. Mm. There's going to be a magnetic attraction between you and this person. Divine soul counterpart attraction transcend superficiality you're in a relationship that has you know um great potential to change will rekindle here okay or there's a new person coming in you're going to be highly attracted to this person you're going to be very excited about getting to know this person this could be someone coming from past like they look like a portal somebody could be coming from a past like walking into your life or there's new energy surrounding a, a current relationship that you're in that's going through some type of rekindle it say every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled okay what else for Aquarius and they love life. What else for Aquas and they love life? We have embrace. Embrace what destiny has in store for you. If you're single, embrace this new person well. Open heart. Don't let this pass you by because this is your wish fulfillment. If you're with someone, embrace that connection. This could be someone who's, who's destined and fated to be in your life or someone who's coming in is destined or fated to be with you. But embrace this relationship. Okay, whether it's coming in or you already got it, embrace it. Don't be afraid. It says, calling in your soul, may your prayers, affirmation, and visualizations help you help bring you together. So you could be praying for a connection that you're in, or if you're single, you're manifesting somebody, and it's manifested at a rapid rate. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Like I said, somebody could be proposing to you for years out, or you're going to meet somebody that's going to really go really fast. This person may take you on a very romantic uh you know getaway could be the paris what else what is too many what else thank you Heart to heart conversation. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. How I'm going to read this, if you with someone, you know, we can be with people for a long time and never really sit down and like really have an open conversation about what we expect, what we what we want, where we're going. A lot of time relationships happen when people start having sex with each other with each other consistently and then they call themselves putting a label on it. That's not a relationship. So you can you you may be about to have like a deep conversation with someone. They may reveal something that they've never been able to say before but now they're in an energy and in a hard space where they can share certain things with you if this is a new person coming in honestly honestly talk to this person if you've been through any stress let this person what you expect what you want and be honest about it have an honest conversation with someone don't be afraid to ask for what you want because you deserve it okay we have love. Love conquers all. Okay, so always lead with love and say free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, let's go back with that self-care up there. Then we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So a lot of y'all, this is attached to a new person. Children, your love life is being affected by children. If you're currently with someone, maybe you have children. Maybe they have children. I don't know, something could be going on with the children in the home and the situation. Okay. Lord. attraction we have attraction twice so there's a, there's a magnetic attraction between you and someone you're dealing with or someone that's coming into your space it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so being present is going to bring more, more romance into your life deeply look deeply within to discover your soul purpose and relationships this relationship you're in or the, or the one coming in is going to be a very deep connection recognition the divine will help you recognize signs and miracles Okay, this relationship that's currently here or the one coming in is definitely going to have you uh, rather open up the pathway to you for you to have miracles to happen in your life. Things, the energy wasn't right before for certain things to manifest, for you to get certain things, for you to make certain moves. It's going to be a good time for the do that coming up soon. Okay. Yin Yang, look at that. If you with somebody, they're your perfect match. If someone's coming in, this is your perfect match. We have like the yin yang symbol, twin flames contain an aspect of each other's character within themselves. Mirror energy, okay? What else? 
We have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So this could be you and a person rekindling the thing that you're with. Or again, this could be a past life person coming in and y'all got some karma to pay back to each other. But I don't feel like it's going to be like a karmic, toxic, argumentative relationship. Cheating, lying, sneaking around. No, not that. It's just you and this person energetically got to handle something. And y'all going to handle it together. Okay. Ooh, all them illusion avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for truth for a true soul connection so i feel like whatever you've been through you have been able to recognize when it comes to your love life the phony from the real maybe before you couldn't see things like that but it's like you know real love now from fake love it's like you've learned so much all these i'm gonna go back to this car here all these books right here and it's a five you've learned so much information when it comes you know to people place and things that now you know the difference between somebody who is love bombing you lying to you and, and someone who really wants to you know um like move forward with something serious and deep it's a let go sometimes it's best to let go and let the universe work things out in divine time and so it's like you just need to go with the flow right now when it comes to your love life labyrinth maybe you've been in the energy where you've been running around in circles when you know when it comes to your love life that is about to change okay it could be a situation where you was the chaser and they was the run and then you was running they was chasing it's been an ongoing thing that's about to change okay even when you feel lost there is always a way through the labyrinth so you're about to find you know a clear path forward with somebody okay or there's somebody coming in and y'all gonna walk a clear path together y'all gonna wind up in a commitment marriage here it's say a marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together there's definitely something happening for you very positive when it comes to your love life okay we have temptation Think carefully about the situation. So this is, again, go back to what I was saying about this illusion, knowing the difference between what is real love when somebody is actually, you know, uh, dating you with intention over somebody who's trying to lie to you to get in your pants. Like, you know the difference between that now. That's very mature, right? I see you. Where you go? There we go. Confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answer you need. And when you second guess yourself and you feel unsure about someone, ask God. God will show you. God will reveal it to you. Okay? It says you deserve love. You are lovable. That's all you need to know, Aquarius, that you deserve love and you are lovable. Union. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. So this relationship taking a change for the better, you ain't going to see it coming. This new person coming in, you ain't going to see them coming either. But when they come, they're going to knock you off your feet openness there's a need for you to be open we saw embrace up here earlier so there's a need for you to embrace new opportunities or embrace the possibility of something changing between you and someone you're currently dealing with be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships ask god to order your steps to guide you to show you okay show you if this your person and god will absolutely show you past life relationship you've known each other before like i said if somebody coming in they definitely somebody from past life not somebody you've been with in this life and if you're with someone they are some type of past life soulmate of yours there could be a lot of chemistry between you and see there could be differences between y'all too y'all could be from different backgrounds okay and the bottom of the deck, look at that. I was just, <laughs> some just say stop and look when marriage and when there's definitely a union about to take place here when it comes to your love life. The situation involves marriage. You're about to get married to somebody, is somebody you already been with, or somebody's going to come in out of nowhere. It's going to be like one of those whirlwind TV romances, but no, like for real in real life. And it's going to move quickly, it's going to move to union fast because this person's going to come in, they're going to know what they want. And you also at an energy where you can see the difference between somebody who's serious about you, again, dating you with intention over somebody who's trying to love bomb you to get you in the bed or to get you stuck to them. You know the difference between that now. And that makes the difference now in this day and time when it comes to your love. Like, that is a big thing, a big change, okay? I feel like this was something some of y'all you could not recognize before. Because, again, naturally our energy is loving. We love to protect. We love to take care of people. We love to help. And a lot of times people take advantage of that shit but when we done with your ass we done ain't no coming back 
it's over because we know we didn't gave you a million chances so it's you're done done like it's over over for you what else do I want to get before I before I get you some angel because I'm gonna get the angel numbers to close out the message do I want to look at something that's before no nope, I don't let's go ahead oh, let's move forward let's get you some angel numbers aqua Can I get some angel messages for my aqua? Ooh, okay. We have, ooh, 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 ooh. The first card out. Beautiful. Give me some more. Thank you. Six, six, six. Ooh. And 12, 21. So we got mirror and energy. We got 11, 11. We got twin flame. We got six, six, six. Now, six, six, six means, you know, and, and angel number wise, it means to check yourself. Okay, reflect. It means to pull your energy back, step back and take a look at whatever you're obsessing over. You can have a strong obsession or a, 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 like a codependent type of attachment to a person, place, or thing, and you need to step back and like free yourself. You need to balance out your mind, body, and spirit. That's what 666 means. At the bottom of the deck, like I said, if there's a past life person that you're with or coming in, y'all do have some type of karma to pay back together. I don't feel like it's an aspect, again, of a, of a toxic relationship where y'all going to be arguing, fussing, fighting, and cheating, all that. No, no, no. It's a different type of thing. Y'all may pay this debt back by being of service to the world. Girl. seriously okay it says balance finances success wealth cycles what goes around comes around a lot of money is coming your way fortune re fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success if you don't appreciate the people in your life now you won't have them tomorrow this message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential so it's time for you to tap into your power because it's a tap into your power Find out what makes you happy, what you like doing, because it's going to bring you abundance. The first card came out was 11 11. Y'all know this is a twin flame card. Wish come true. Moderation, patience, fluence, self realization, manifestation, gateway, taking action. You're in for a lucky break. It may come as happy news, experience, new opportunities, or an exciting acquaintance. All right, now you will find yourself in the right place at the right time. It is not a coincidence, but a gift from fate. This is like the will of fortune. The will of fortune is in your favor right now. It's, it's like an upright for you. You're at the top of the wheel. 666, reflect love, affection, compassion, kindness, attention, self-love. This card is just a message for you to continue focusing on yourself. Because if some of y'all, when you started focusing on yourself, you made this person romantic wise family wise and even business wise once you started changing up your routine how you were showing up to that situation it made this person deal with some type of subconscious restriction fears pain some deep emotion that they have not been dealing with they haven't even haven't even like begun to look at possibly until they met you so there's a need for you to continue to focus on yourself because as you put your energy into you, you making this particular boss, this lover or this family member sit in their own energy and work on that stuff, which is helping the relationship overall, right? Again, it says love, affection, compassion, kindness, attention, self-love. Several unexpected developments will enter your life and impact how you feel. This is a chance to reevaluate your identity. You need a mental shift towards greater optimism, self-assurance, and trust. Put your faith in your gut and inner voice. Pay attention to your feelings and use them to help you become a better person. Did I say focus on yourself? <coughs> oh, my throat got dry. I feel like I got that little scratchy feeling they have to cough because somebody don't want you to focus on your stuff still. Mm. Oh, that water better. Somebody still don't want you to focus on yourself. This may be somebody that didn't even come out in these messages. But I did talk about somebody's going to be exposed to snake. So there is someone who studied trying to manipulate your energy to... Make it so well, you know, so they can influence you not to work on yourself, love on yourself. Somebody could be trying to get you to waste your energy on insignificant things. Your resource depletes you. Somebody's still trying to work on you, but whoever that snake is, they're going to be exposed, right? 
Now you have 1221. Take an initiative. It's a change, optimism, joy, communication, messages, good news, expression, and high vibes, okay? It says work with what you have and it will get you places. Count your blessings and acknowledge your dear ones. You will find inspiration and figure out a way forward. You might also be getting some good news soon. We had three different cards talking about good news coming in and also about focusing on yourself. Taking care of Aquarius, okay? So you can keep on letting that thing spin in your favor. Keep on staying at the top of the wheel. Don't let nobody pull you back. Keep loving on yourself, focusing on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you can keep on moving forward. We have Wednesday. Wake up, excuse me, make up a balance. Be entirely realistic. Something about a four, balance, okay? There's a need for balance right now. Something could be happening on a Wednesday. Could be in four days, four weeks, four months, Okay, now we have six weeks here. Enjoy time. Six days to six weeks. And within six days to six weeks, your whole energy is going to be different. You're going to be in this very, we have sixes again. So this is six, six, six as well. So you're going to be in a very reflective energy. Okay, you're going to be focused inward, which is going to continue to help things manifest outward. And then you have number 10, 10 days to 10 weeks. Ten weeks is two and a half months. That's about what we got left in this year. So something is going to be significantly changed while you closing out this, as you close out this year. Damn it, get away from my throat. That's why I'm editing my videos. Are we here? We're gonna make mistakes. You will start over. Uh, you will start all over again. Ten days to ten weeks. So this change with this particularly romantic relationship, then I will say work, then family and friends, this change is going to come in in the next 10 days to 10 weeks. So the next two and a half months, like I said, this change is happening soon and it's 10, 10. So it's some type of completion happening. Then we have Tuesday here, start being creative, put down a marker. So it's time for you to make your blueprint three here. Okay. Three of cups, three of wands. Three of Pentacles, seven. You know I love seven. This is uh, talks about determination. It says determining the circumstances. Seven days and seven weeks. We still haven't went past that 10-week mark, so something is definitely going to be changing the last part of this year. We have one. One, one, one to be exact. It says almost going too fast. One day to one week. And then, last but not least, Look, I have to get a look talking. Look, now we extend the time. We have Leo, okay? So something about Leo season that just passed or next year Leo season coming up, something's going to be really, 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 really in a good place. It's a release the power of your heart. This also is the sun again. So you got the sun three times in this reading. So you're definitely about to be in some type of period of joy, happiness, and expansion, okay? Five weeks to five months. I don't feel like it's going to be five months. I feel like as this last two and a half months of this year close, out you know there's going to be changes take a stand follow your energy this is all because you're going to be taking some type of leap of faith or you're standing on business with people you're not the same person you used to you don't view love the same way you don't view family relationship the same way you don't uh you don't view like work collaboration the same way you are different and this is bringing in See, my thought try to crackle again. This is bringing in positive changes. Somebody really, whoever this snake is, they really don't want you to be happy. They really don't want you to be happy. They really don't want any changes to happen in your life. This person really want things to like stay in the toilet stool for you. But no, they can't. It's like you done got the sun three times in this reading. No. This person's not going to be able to block your shine anymore. They're not going to be able to affect anything you got going on. Not your love life, not your money, whatever they was depleting, your energy, they not going to be able to affect you anymore. This person really needs to worry about they self, okay? They really need to worry about they self. Matter of fact, this nosy motherfucker, let me see. Hold on. Let's see real quick. Let's see real quick. We're going to get the kip of deck. And then we're going to close for real, for real, y'all. This shit was over, over an hour already, okay? But let's see. Give me this snake. Give me this person who's going to be revealed. We have pathway in fucking reverse. Now, the pathway upright will be 35, 35. Somebody could be 35. Somebody could be between the edges of 35 and 53. You, them. But, nope, excuse me. You. Not you. Damn it. Get out of here. <laughs> them. The enemy. So, that would be an abundance. This would be like a new pathway opening up. New streams of income. New opportunities, right? That pathway leads to light, joy. That's like the sun, right? But it's in reverse. This person is not going to have any happiness. All their roads are going to be blocked. Whoever this is, all their roads are going to be blocked, okay? 
journey 10 if this person been able to just say for instance that this journey represents um metaphorically like astral project astral traveling to you they block they can't do it no more it's the end to that 10 completion if this is someone who is also in the midst of trying to get away relocate they're going to be stopped Maybe if they're trying to get on the train somewhere, they're going to get caught at the train. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, nah, they ain't going nowhere. Whoever they said, they got to deal with what they got to deal with. Okay. We have Privileged Lady in Reverse. Okay. This is number 12. So, this is three. This could be like a Marge Pisces, Aries. Okay. Something about somebody money, too. If somebody was like the fortunate one. So, this a feminine energy, a female Okay, if this was somebody who was playing in your face, whatever or not, it's like, uh, yeah, something about to happen with their money. They're not going to be privileged no more. So their finances may take a, a big hit. We have some here about a main male. And some of y'all, this could be a man who's about to go through some type of changes like this. Some of y'all, this is a man. Some of y'all, this is a woman. Some of y'all, this is a man that's losing his fortune. Some of y'all, this is a woman that's losing her fortune because she in a masculine energy. She's not in a feminine energy. We have sudden wealth, Okay. Whatever they losing, you gaining, okay? And house. You may be about to purchase a new house with the person you're dealing with, okay? Or you may get an opportunity where your money increase, where you can afford to buy your own house. But it's something about you also changing houses, moving, okay? And this house could re represent your physical vessel. If this represents your body, you see that gate around this house? If a person was able to get into your energy, they block the fuck out. They can't do it anymore. So whoever this hidden enemy is, they're going to suffer, Marriage. What's up under marriage, okay? Something could be going on. Community. What else? And I see thief. And then concern. So this person. Okay. 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 I'm going to tell you exactly what I heard. Okay. 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 Whoever this enemy is, it could be a man or a woman. They could be in a marriage. They could be in some type of relationship. It could be a long-term commitment where they consider that common law marriage shit. Somebody is in a connection, right? Okay? What they need to be worried about, concerned with, is somebody in their community. So if this is a woman, she's worried about you. Her man could be sleeping with somebody where they live at or dealing with somebody where they live at. If this is a man, their woman, their wife could be dealing with somebody in their community. That's what they should be concerned about. They, could be, they should be concerned about somebody taking their purse. Okay, again, if this is a fucking woman, she needs to be worried about somebody in her community sleeping with her husband. Why the fuck she worried about you trying to ruin your life, Aquarius? Somebody could be stealing their person right up under their nose. If this a man, somebody could be sleeping with their wife right up under their nose, ready to, um, excuse me, not ready to. Yeah, yeah, ready to, because that's intentional. You know, this person could be causing a division between this relationship because somebody too focused on you. Somebody definitely could be in some type of long-term relationship or a marriage, and they worried about you. And because of that, they're not paying attention to their home, what's going on within their four walls, because they worried about your motherfucking life. They need to be concerned about somebody in their community. Somebody that somebody they dealing with, sleeping with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. And whoever they sleeping with is probably actually they person. You know how these people get married for different things. Somebody could have got with somebody, but they ain't they person. They could be with this person for all the wrong reasons. They literally could be sneaking around with the person that's actually they, who they want to be with. <laughs> Look, somebody who they think about all the time. This man could be thinking about another woman all the time, or this woman could be thinking about a man, another man all the time. Whoever this is they dealing with <laughs> is actually they person. Shit, they go female now, okay? Mm-hmm. And look, guess what? They ain't expecting this. They ain't expecting that cup of tea. Yep, somebody here worried about your life, somebody who trying to be an enemy, a shit stain in your life, a blockage to your life, should be concerned about their life. They should be concerned about somebody they dealing with, sleeping with somebody that's close to them. Somebody who took their person. And it's crazy because that's, that's crazy how they came out. Whoever this is they cheating around with is actually somebody they love and want to be with. They don't love the person that they cheating on. They sure don't. And this person is too worried about you. And if they weren't so worried about you and fucking your life up, they'll see that somebody here is taking their person or them took their person. Because I feel like whoever their person is, man or woman, they already have to do. They just ain't physically left them yet. Peace.